actually need to look inwards because it is our responsibility as students, as learners, as leaders to create the solutions that we need. You have amazing professors, they are not going to do it for you. They are going to guide you to create the solutions that we need. So I challenge you, the students, over the next couple of months to solve every technological problem that you complain that doesn't exist. Not because you're required to, but because you will be the entrepreneurs who the university ultimately contracts and pays, how much do we pay? Hundreds of thousands of dollars to private companies to build our websites and things like that. That money can go into your pocket. What would you do with $50,000? What would you do with $100,000? That can be you. It need not be some other entity from outside Sierra Leone. And you have the skill set to be able to develop the architecture, to be able to develop the data systems, because your university will provide that for you. That is what we need to do. And in terms of being entrepreneurial, and I'll share one more story and, and I'll be done. Uh, my first job on campus, uh, was to clean the toilet and I didn't clean the toilet because I was I needed the money they paid the most to go and clean toilets at Harvard it was toilets on campus and it wasn't just me it was me and all the other international freshmen who came who needed lots of money so we cleaned toilets on campus that business called the Harvard Students uh, Agency was worth millions of dollars it was a business that was run by students. Students were the CEOs, students were the managers, students were the ones who interviewed students, and students like us, freshmen, who went who needed money over one week, a thousand bucks, were also the employees. And I see catering, I see cleaning, I see gardening, I see communication work, I see classroom facilitation. Where is the Jala student agency that is run by students who are in BIT, who are in management, who are in communications? If you created that and came to the VC, he's gonna hug you because he's gonna pay less but he's going to pay less and keep you all employed and wear your learning skills that will ultimately make you more uh, employable. If you leave Jala and say you run the Jala student agencies as the marketing uh, lead, who will then hire you at any cost? If you are the CEO of the Jala student agencies that is a business that is valued, even if it's 10,000 millions, but it is profitable, it's profit and it creates jobs. There's nobody who won't hire you. So our role as faculty and administration has to be paired up with our role as students because we are responsible. We are all over 18 and we are leaders and adults and it is our responsibility to take leadership and execute on that leadership. The university, yes, I, I did mention long-term things that we can do to lead. AI, data science, we should absolutely do. Autonomous vehicles, land, aerial. We have water close by, right? There's bodies of water around. There's no reason why our campus, which is removed from the rest of the community, shouldn't be a testing place where we build autonomous vehicles. Where is the keke that passes around that uses solar that is uh, unmanned? There's no reason why we cannot build unmanned um, autonomous vehicles on campus that takes people from point A to point B that is powered by solar. We have the skill sets. So I think it's about creating the space to challenge um, faculty, researchers to 
be involved with state-of-the-art research that we publish, that we share, that we have seminars like this where we're learning. Um, it's only then that we will be ready to say that we are undergoing the renaissance and that we're ready for transformation. And when we do that, it's not a linear growth. It's not a, 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 I think the transformation will be rapid and exponential. And I think within a year or two, we will already see the dividends because we cannot afford to think small. We cannot afford to think that, oh, it's impossible. Let's challenge our Senate to change the rules and to act quickly. Let's challenge our deans to do things that they've never done that they didn't think was possible. Let's challenge our heads of departments to, they don't have emails or use emails or develop digital content to do that by next September. If we don't challenge them, it won't happen. So, on that note, it's a tremendous honor and privilege to be here. And I'd like to thank you for seeding DSTI because most of my team is, is, is from DSTI. Um, and I look forward to hearing about the businesses and the solutions that you guys create um, that goes beyond Sierra Leone. Thank you very much.